Hi, everybody. This is Danita here. I'm going to be doing another painting tonight. You put your phone side to side or straight up and down? Hey girl, can you hear me? Yes. Do you put your phone up and down or side to side? Uh, what's that? Do you put your phone up and straight up and down or side to side? You're black right now. I, don't I know. Well, hold on. I'm trying to get in. You got yourself black. Okay. Uh, I don't use my phone. Remember, I have a, a separate camera running off my laptop. Oh yeah, that's right. Yes. I got another, uh, can you see the paint, my picture there or not? No, I can't. Where, where should it be? Up, up farther? I see, I see your light. I see your oh, okay. Hold on. The camera. I don't see where to change it. I guess I gotta put it this way. There you go. You got it. That's upside down, so I can't see it for sure, but well, I see it. It's good here. Okay, it's perfect. It's so okay, there you go. Well, I can hear you as long as you tell me if I need to say, you know, let me know if there's anything is you it, need. Is the music level okay too? Is it, I, can you hear it? Yeah, a little bit. Okay, I don't want it super loud. Actually, when I replayed the video the other night, uh -huh. I noticed it was too loud. Oh, okay. I mean, it wasn't too loud, but it was louder than I thought it was. Oh, okay. So I was going to keep it a little bit lower pace tonight. All right, so like I said, what I'll do is I'll say a little chat for a second, and then I'll do my little intro thing, and then I'll just bring you up like we did last time. Okay, is it time already? It is uh, 10 minutes. Okay, good. So I'm I want to at least get this. Yellow. Yeah, last night I had one, two, three, four, six, seven. Eight. I had ten last night, kind of the black and white. Oh, okay. Did you That's see cool. my painting? I was so happy with it. Yeah, it turned out super cute, girl. It that wasn't was awesome. as good as I wanted it to be, but it turned and you out. Know what? That is a really. Set, I, I'm looking at. It, I'm like, this is a really easy paint. This is as easy as that during uh, Love Blooms one. You know the one yeah. I did the paint party with. Yeah, but um, that one last night took me a good two hours because I did a twelve by something, and it took me a while. A twelve by what? Uh, well, this is a sixteen by twenty. The one I'm doing here. Twelve by I, whatever. I think that I do better when I paint bigger. I do too, but it just takes me so long because I'm such a perfectionist. Okay. Well, you know, like that little that little lily thing that I did today, I actually had a different lily on there and it looked like crap. And I'm like, wait a minute, I can paint better than this because I was trying to go so darn fast. I know. It, it, it's and, like there's not enough time. I mean, you got to hurry. Yeah. And I'm trying to keep it simple, you know, yeah. for, the, for the other people. And I'm thinking, come on, this looks like crap. So I painted over the entire thing and repainted the big one. Oh. Um. Did it a little bit better. Um, it looks more like a lily. And the, my my bad because I didn't even get a reference for a lily. I was just kind of painting like a sunflower. I'm like, wait a minute, lilies and <laughs> sunflowers have different petals, Kim. So that's what I finally just looked at something and got it done right. Yeah. So anyway, how's your day been? It's been hectic or? Yeah, it's just been a little bit crazy, but it's okay. Because yeah. I've been trying to get this video to work all day and nothing was working right. You know what? I should probably just Google or ask StreamYard. You know, I'm on their StreamYard. Uh, like I, get, I'm subscribed to the StreamYard channel. I don't know if you are, and I always get their. Uh, oh, and YouTube. Yeah, on YouTube and Facebook on their Facebook page. Uh -huh. And I always get their. Uh, 
they're uh, what do you call it? Like they, they do these like little live streams where they give you all these tutorials. Oh, the live notifications. How to do this and what's best for that. And I'll learn a little bit from them, you know. So. Oh, okay. Well, you should just text me when they're on so I can just turn mine on in case I'm busy. I can just go ahead and do it anyways. Right. Just say, just, um, you know, send me a message say, hey, they're on. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll try to remember to do that. And I, I had it too. I just don't know well, why. Like I said, go to, the, go to StreamYard's YouTube channel and just subscribe. And so every time I'm, I'm already on there. Button, that way you'll get it. I'm every already on there. They'll just, it'll just post that. You'll get a notification when they're on. Yeah, I'm on there. I don't know why. Um, and then I don't even know if I'm on their Facebook page, actually. I don't know. I'm not sure. You just did your um, background plain black? Uh, yep, yeah, just solid black. So that way you'll have two versions of it. You know, I was looking at uh, one of the ladies that was saying, like, if she does paint parties and she has all these excessive paintings, you know, especially duplicates and stuff. And she says what she does, and I thought that was kind of a clever idea. And I can do that because I got one that's close down the street uh, here in the land. It's a... Um, uh, what you call it, like a little uh, artisan market every night. But she said she goes to the farmer's market here and there. And sells puts them? Her, puts her painting up and just sells them for like 30 bucks a piece. Oh, that'd be um, nice. If people would buy. idea, you know. Yeah. So I'm just painting them over. I mean, I guess you could paint them over and use the canvases again, but try to make a little money off of it. If you yeah, that's a, that's a good idea. Headband. Yeah, I got this at the Dollar Tree, and I, I am like such a Dollar Tree. I didn't realize I'm such a Dollar Tree freaker. I guess I am. I go there. <laughs> all the it's like my life is pretty. Fun. I think we all do that. Do I that. have like a really boring life, I guess. It's like, it's like my excitement is going to the Dollar Tree. <laughs> all right. Yeah, I think I'm gonna start out sitting down like this, and then I might stand up. Stand like that. That's some different position. Let's see, I'm gonna definitely paint. I'll have to go a little bit higher. <sighs> All right, let's see. We've got six minutes. And I just gotta remember that right after I do this part, I gotta switch over to my comment section here. Because you know, that's the little intro thing that I do. Uh -huh. You know the little sidebar there where it says comments. Right. And it's under the brand with a little uh uh Art. Oh, yeah. The little artist palette. Yeah. Under that, under that tab. And um, it, that's where it allows you to add video clips. So that's oh, how I okay. play that. And then, like I said, after that. <clears throat> Has it been hot there? Um, I think it was like 81. That's. But I, I really wasn't outside, so I didn't go outside today. You know what's interesting? Um, I don't know. Do you know where Beeville, Texas is? Nope. Beeville, Texas is about an hour north of Corpus in that general range. Oh, okay. Well, Corpus is way down north, way down south. There in the Navy there back in the 80s. Uh -huh. And, you know, I've always wondered over the course of time like, what happened. That looks, I, think, I thought they closed the naval base. Um, maybe they didn't. I haven't really checked. But... Um, uh, what was I going to say? This lady, this gal, let me put my apron on because I'll end up wiping all over my pants. I do that all the time. This lady, um, one of the PPHQ sisters was posting something about a paint party. She's got all these paint parties and she was actually in um, Oh, wow. That's cool. I know. I'm running into all these people, places that I used to live. <laughs> I know. It's so neat, huh? I've lived so many dang places. It's ridiculous. I mean, between out west and it's so cool how we can be friends with all these people and they're all over the country. I know. Actually, yeah. all over the world. I had somebody on my page last night. Um, I don't know where she was from, but she was from another country. I don't remember which country she was from. Cool. I think I had one person not necessarily watching, but like went to my Crafting with Kim page and made a couple of comments. But I also thought it might be a scam or two, you know, or something. Yeah. But I don't accept any friends if I don't if I don't look at their page and see that they're friends with my friends. If they don't yeah. have a profile pic and if they don't have a history on their Facebook page, I do not accept them. Because all right. these people's being hacked and I don't want to be one of those, you know. 
Well, this is just somebody that put a comment out. Oh, yeah, I know. I'm just telling you about that. I was just... I looked, at, I looked at it, and I'm like, there, it must have been hacker because there wasn't that much stuff on it. And it was just like, it was saying, hey, I need help or something. Very, like, quick, yeah, long, like, long, you know, long comments or anything like that. Just like, I need help. I'm just in that painting. I'm like, okay, there's something like that. Now, on, into the other day. on YouTube, unless they have um, content, you know, like we, like us, like we're creators. Yeah. So unless they have that, they may not have nothing because they may not produce videos. Correct. Well, I mean, I, this, now this wasn't a PPHQ system. This is no. Somebody. On your Facebook or YouTube? Um, it was on Facebook, my Crafting with Kim Facebook. Oh, okay. Yeah. Now on Facebook, they should have a profile page and all that. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Well, they do, but you know, they set up fake ones. So. Yeah, I know. I mean, but like, usually they don't have um, a history on there. You know, they don't have like, it's not been on there for a year. It's got like one or two p profile pictures and that's it. If they're, if they're not real, mm -hmm. but if, if they're real, they should have a whole history, you know, like years of Facebook stuff right. like we do. Absolutely. Yeah. So I just now, Bob, scared Bob of that. Ed's husband, he's on Facebook a lot, but he's on Facebook Messenger. Uh -huh. He doesn't do much on his Facebook page. So you'll see a few little things, but he's still a little active. So you never know. Like older people, sometimes they don't put that much stuff on there, but they are on there. Yeah. So we got, let's see, about a minute and a half. Okay, I'm trying to hurry. Before I'll, I'll take you down off the thing and then bring you back up. Okay. That should give me enough time to fill in the rest of this here. Let me see. I'm trying to remember how to like bring you down. What do I do? You hit the things on the bottom of the screen, like one of the um, little cam, one of the little pictures there that shows there's one person, two people, three people. Oh, I see it. Okay. Yeah. I just have to remember because literally this is only the second time I've done this. With you. Yeah. I can't even remember what those are called. Little cam screens or something like that. Yeah. The little split screens. And then there's the one. Oh, then there's the two of us like this. That's just the background. We don't want to do that. <laughs> that's what, three people. This is what is this one? Yeah, is it, I think you can bring up like several people if you, you know, like if you were doing a big thing. Yeah, if you're doing, you can have up to 10. Yeah. So. Are you able to put that on Facebook and YouTube? Is that what you're doing? Facebook and YouTube. The thing about it is, is I create the event through Facebook, like I'm going Facebook Live. Uh -huh. and, and I don't know, like, I mean, obviously it's showing up on my Facebook page. So, because Facebook sends me a little notice, but I'm not actually sure going straight through Facebook Live. I'm uh -huh. going through this. So, I guess that's not a problem. No, I mean, it shouldn't be. I guess not. I guess people are still being able to see it because it's through my crafting and my personal. I've got it on my personal, my crafting business, and the, then the YouTube. I got them on all three. <laughs> that's cool. So, all right, here we go, girl. I'm going to take you down. Okay. All right, let's see where we're at. Oh, I got you. I'm just going to mute you for a second. All right. Thursday night, Thursday night live painting. I am Kim Hostetter, Crafting with Kim, and I am excited once again to do a co-paint with my good buddy, uh, Danita. Buddy. We haven't met in person, but we will one day. And her <laughs> name is Danita Atkinson. Last week we painted together, and we're going to try to make this a uh, regular thing, maybe weekly, bi-weekly, something like that. But tonight we're going to be really painting a cute little cactus scene, and um, it'll be, we're both doing a little bit different takes on it, so you get to see how to make it your own. All right, I'll be right back, and then we'll get started. Okay, I'm back here with Danita. Hey. Oh, you want to show your face? I'm trying. <laughs> I know, you got your set camera all set up. I can't see your face. <laughs> hey. There she is. This is Danita okay. with the Buttercup Creations. All right, guys. Yeah, we're right. We're live again. We're co-painting. And I'm loving this co-painting. It makes it so much easier uh, to interact with people when you can actually uh talk to somebody and see them live on the screen. And of course, as you're hopping on tonight or even after the fact, if you don't catch us live, I would really appreciate it if you would share
show some love to myself and Anita Atkins. Danita, tell them a little bit about yourself. Tell hey. Them you are, what, you, what your page is all about. Yes, my name is Danita Atkinson. My page is a Buttercup Creations with uh oh, with you. I you can talk. Oh, I can't hear you. Wait, are you can't? Muted? No. You're not me. Oh, you are, but it's my bad. You're good now. I had you muted. Uh oh. <laughs> Anyways, my name is Danita Atkinson with the Buttercup Creations on YouTube. Yeah, you Facebook and all of that good stuff. And tonight we're painting a cactus again. So we'd be happy for you to comment, say hello, subscribe, all the good stuff. What is your YouTube and your Facebook art name? A Buttercup Creations. A Buttercup Creations. Okay, you can find her there. Like I said, I am Crafty with Kim. So, you know, the two of us are just having fun doing all these arts and crafts. And we appreciate comment, like, subscriptions, all that good stuff. And so, without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get started. You can see right there that Danita has got a little bit ahead of the game, and so have I. But I want to share with you guys. Hold up a second, Danita. I'm just going to take you down below because I want to kind of put them, show them what I'm doing. Okay. Okay. Um, right now, what we're going to do is, you can see, don't mind all the writing. That's my little cheat notes for when I get into the artifacts. But see these two paintings? These are two different succulent paintings. And I like them both. So I decided that I'm going to kind of do my own thing. I kind of call it Frankenstein when you make it your own. But yeah, so I'm going to be working it with these two and kind of doing a similar version. So I bet here's back with Anita. Now, Danita, uh, tell them what happened last night. Oh, well, we didn't have to bring that up now, Kim. But anyways, uh, my husband usually is off on Thursdays. So yesterday I got in live and I did a live last night on YouTube and Facebook for, well, actually it didn't go through Facebook. It went through YouTube alone. So I was thinking he was off on Thursday. So I thought it was Thursday. But anyways, here I am again tonight. That's all that matters. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> anyway, we basically got our communications crossed, but we're back here doing it again. So she, this is her second version. You'll have to show them your first version at the end. And so you said, you can yes, I will. I will. Yeah. All right. So, um, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and put my, uh, camera back on my palette. Oh, by the way, I am going to be, uh, probably up and down a little bit as far as standing and sitting. So don't mind me, but just focus your attention on the painting. <laughs> All right, so as you can see, we're both doing a black background. Um, and what I did is I took the, uh, let's see, I'll show you. I took the basic layout from the cactuses on this one, because I like that, but I love the coloring on this one. So like I said, I'm going to kind of combine the two. And I wanted to do a terracotta pot instead of the little white pot. That's very cute. I love it, but you know, I wanted to just do my own thing. So that's why um, I'm mixing up a little bit. So, uh, by the way, if you're not familiar with painting or you want to know a little bit more about it, this canvas, my size is a 16 by 20. What are you working off of, Tamina? Oh, uh, 12 by 16. Okay, and now this is a flat work canvas. If I do classes, you get an upgrade. You actually get a wrap around uh, wrapped canvas, which would be about the same size. I like working a little bit bigger. It's easier to work bigger, I think. Um, and also, uh, oh, the paints. Okay, so paints we're using are basically these little. Let me see. Where the camera? I'm using Deco Art. Sully. Deco Art paints. Americana uh, folk arts are pretty good. You know, if you want to start out with your cheapy paints at Walmart, you can. But uh, like Hobby Lobby. Uh, Michaels, some of the other stores carry the deco art and they're very, they're thicker. You can definitely tell the difference. So I've got a little bit of combination, but they are basically these craft paints that you get. Oh, I can't get myself in the camera. The craft paints that you buy at the store. You don't have to have anything really expensive or really, you know, fine art. This, like I said, this is, what is this? Danita? This is fun art. This is not fine this art. Fun art, not fine art. Okay. Exactly. So the first thing I want to do with mine is, like I said, Danita's kind of following along and doing her own thing, and we're going to talk. And uh, and we just kind of, of yeah, we just kind of made up our own painting out of the two. So um, we're we're going ahead and, and we went ahead and done the background first, so we wouldn't be so far behind and take such a long video. Right, and basically you can see too that both of us decided to go ahead and uh, like pre. Well, we had what's called a tracer. It's basically like a printout of the image, and then we trace it onto our canvas before we paint. 
And generally when you do a party with other folks, we do the same thing. We have that already done for them to make it a little bit easier. It just makes it quicker and it's, it allows you to get your proportions right on your And face. so people is not so intimidated by just having to paint a, a picture straight out. Exactly. They see something and they can start getting an idea like, oh yeah, okay, now I can kind of get an idea. No, and I've just been letting myself get too far with other things. So, um, yeah, this is going to be a really cute thing. Uh, Kim, and, um, I'll tell you where. Go ahead, Danita. I was going to ask you if you can share that to my page. What, what's that? Oh, maybe you can't until you're off. Never mind. It's okay. I don't think you can share it anywhere until you get off right no, actually, it's still like a technical challenge on some of this stuff okay so, it's okay we'll do it later right. they said, oh by the way people that don't know like i said i forgot to tell you brushes okay brushes i'm using like i said we're using acrylic paints this is a uh three quarter inch flat brush uh for the bigger areas of course when you're using brushes you want to make sure you use the brush appropriate to the size you're working with now uh, uh, some people like to use what they call a chip brush which is those little wooden handle disposable brushes for a bigger and you can definitely use those too i don't know i i, if I will use them if it's a really big area but i just you know if i do a paint party I, this is basically what i give out to the people so i figured i'll just paint like they paint so that um we're all kind of painting the same style in the same way yeah i agree i just get these paint brushes from walmart or from amazon either yeah. one let me see, Danita. Jamie is asking, "What's your page, Danita?" What's the name of my page. That's cool. Thank you, honey. The name of my page is a Buttercup Creations on YouTube and on Facebook. A Buttercup Creations. And creations with an S, right? Yeah, C R E A T I O N S. And thank okay. you, thank you, Jamie. Yeah, that's great, Jamie. Thank you. Like I said, share it around. Show us the love, girlfriend. All right, let's see. You know, it's funny. Oh, is she gonna share that to my page? You say? I'm sorry, is she sharing that to my page? She is sharing your page, girlfriend. Oh, thank you. I can't I can't get off here to share it to my page, so I appreciate that. Yeah, well, you can share it afterwards. But yeah. It's kind of hard to do it when you're now. I'm just going to I'm putting a little bit of a shadow line underneath here to give it some dimension between that lip, the pot lip. And all I did here was mix a little bit of the, the black. It's kind of a shading effect, just a little bit, a teeny little. I didn't have my brown handy, and I don't want to dig it for it. So I can use the black in that little black line there so we can get a little lip separation. I'll probably go over it even stronger with the, with the black at the end, but I just want to get a little something there with the shading value. All right. Now the colors I'm using is Hauser Green Medium and Hauser Light Green for my for cactus. cactus. Yes. Okay. I have to look and see what my colors are. I don't know the name of them. I just... I grab based on what they look like. <laughs> yeah, me too. That's what I did. And then I'm looking at the colors now. All right. So let me see. I'm going to, that's what I'm going to tackle now. My cactus. And I've got um, forest green. It's basically like a dark green. Da -da 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 -da, forest green. And I got a little bit of this like limey green, yellow, citron green. And I'm just going to kind of combine the two together and see what happens. It's called winging it, right? Exactly. Right. And I might have to stand up for this part. The reason I'm going up and down, guys, is because I've been having some major back problems. I've got an arthritic back, and it's been driving me crazy. So, now what I did here is I actually watered this down a little bit, which I basically did my brush and my paint and watered it, which is, gives you a nice effect, but I do want it a little bit thicker than this. So, I need to cover up some of that black. But see how that kind of creates a, a, a really cool, like, line, like a blended effect? I kind of like using the water with the acrylics a lot. To yeah, the I do too, and it lightens them up some, but it, it, does, it just makes it a different color. Super good. I mean, super good. Super good. Uh -huh. super, super good. It actually, um, I get like a little stroke motion on it and um, gives it the effect that I need without having to go over it too many times. Hold on, let me see. Almost cut it. I'm just kind of said, I'm taking a little bit of that, that uh, yellow. The yellow green, the citron, and the and the uh, the dark green. Now let me see. I'm gonna go ahead and follow the same kind of thing with this. I want the cactus to be a little bit different color. These two here are similar hot cactuses, so they will be similar in color. 
like I said, I'll probably be outlining most of this in black after I'm done. So we'll all separate and pop. Since, like I said, these paintings are not super detailed as far as using uh, a lot of blending and shading and values. So because they are very whimsical and simple, easy kind of paintings, because that's what we're trying to do is just get those that aren't familiar with painting to paint. And, you know, blending and all that comes a little bit later down the road once you have the some of your, you get over your fear of painting, so to speak. I'll draw all right, guys. All right, so where am I at now? Right before I got here. Oh, I'm so sorry about my hand. Okay, so I'm going to draw some as we're going along for anybody that's actually joined me on any of my craft or painting nights i come up with this kind of a cool little thing called artifacts <laughs> <laughs> basically what that is is i thought you know what for for conversation's sake and just to give a little bit of information why don't i share something about the subject matter that we're talking about Okay, so basically, what are we working on tonight? We're working on cactus. Now we could talk about desert if we want to, and definitely, I, I used to live in the desert. Anybody ever lived out west or lived out or actually living out west? Now, I lived out west for a good portion of my life until I moved to Florida in 2000. I've been out east ever since. But yeah, anybody else out there? Let me see. I was able to share a link on your page. This is Jamie. I'll check back on the live video after I'm not driving. Jamie, bad girl, man. You're driving and watching a video? Oh, my gosh. Okay. Who's on tonight? Jamie says she's when she's not driving. Yeah, thank so you. She's actually watching us. <laughs> I, I put mine in my little stand on my phone if I have something on, like, you if I have what? to be on a I, Zoom. I'll just say true confession. If I'm on a long road trip and it's just like a straightaway, you know, and I know there's not a lot of traffic. I do too. I glance over and kind of watch. Well, I don't even, I mean, I just want to hear it and I can't hold my phone while I hear it, you know? Yeah. It makes the time go by so much faster, especially when I'm driving to Georgia. Oh, heck yeah. You know what also works too is either, uh, you know, your podcast or uh, book on tapes. Oh, yes. I love the book on tape. Book on tape, girl, that will fly by. Yes. I did that. I used to make a lot of road trips to uh, North Carolina from Florida. Mm -hmm. And I put those suckers on. And I miss my exit sometimes. <laughs> but, uh, oh, goodness. I didn't see my head. I'm sitting here, you know, thinking, listening to that darn thing. And yes, the time flies so much faster. Yes, it does. But you be careful out there, Jamie, driving and doing that. Is anybody else on tonight? Uh, so far, uh, no. Not yet. I can only see. Let's see who else I can see here. It's just you and me and her so far. Hopefully people will start popping on. I did have a couple of extras that said they were going to come, but you know how they get, they get caught up in stuff. And, you know, the thing about it is, is if you don't hit that notification button, say you're going or are or, or interested, you don't know, you know, unless you set your timer on your phone. Exactly. Know. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, well, they just don't get to see it, I guess. Or they oh, they'll get to see the replay. Right? Yeah. All right. So a little bit of this, a little bit of that. So yeah, this I love succulents, by the way. Oh, speaking of which, like I said, I pulled up a bunch of uh, interesting uh, facts. artifacts. <laughs> yeah, art, artifacts. I can't decide if I want to call it artsy facts or art and facts. Like art facts. Oh, I like art and facts. Art and facts. Yeah. yeah. I actually I like both of those names. Yeah, I just kind of like, but I thought that was kind of clever, you know. <laughs> yeah. Words. Anyway, um, so some of the are in fact that i have about succulents once again i learn something new every time i do this and it's kind of cool i know i do too because you you say it and i'm like wow i know like last week we talked about memorial day and and like the all the facts about and memorial day and all that was kind of neat all right so um and it's hard to like focus and do this when you're trying to paint too but that's what it's all about if you're going to be teaching online you got to be able to multitask exactly Hold up. Let me get to a stopping point here with my, my brush and I'll get to some of my backs. All right, let's see. Uh, I have like actually 10, well, I've got nine in general, but 10 basic facts that they're talking about for succulents. Let me just kind of go through a couple of them. Um, first off, succulents come in many colors. And I know a lot of people are aware, obviously, the greens. We're doing cactus here. Many shapes, colors, sizes. 
yeah, colors and sizes and shapes. I mean, they're they're all over the gamut. And uh, but some of the colors, like people might, I mean, you've probably seen blue ones. I mean, we're using a little bit of blue, and they have blue agave. You know, that's like the agave cactus. Um, but let's see. There's also purple, red, orange. Have you ever seen orange? Yes, I have. Not a real one, but um, one of the art artificial ones. Okay. Orange. That goes in my wreaths. Uh, the one that thing I've never seen is black. Ah, huh. I don't. I've never seen a black. No, I haven't. Anybody out there ever seen a black succulent? Leave me a comment if you've ever seen a black succulent before, because I sure haven't. Now, granted, I didn't even Google it. I didn't even take a look at Google. Now, interestingly enough, as I get down the line, um, I did see something really cool, and I'll talk about it when I get there. I guess instead of instead of jumping the gun right now in South Africa, uh, in Africa actually. So. Succulents, by the way, and I, you might have seen this before too, succulents can grow on a vertical surface. In other words, you know, they don't have to grow just in a straight pot, like up and down. You can put them in, like, you ever seen those little pallet things or when they hang them on walls? can actually grow into a vertical, like on a vertical surface. Yes, area. I've seen that before. Yeah, so those are kind of neat. Um, what else about succulents? Hold on a second. I got a little paint hat on for seconds and concentrate. <laughs> uh, what else? Oh, take a guess on how many species you think there are in the world. Oh, wow. I have no idea. That's, I mean, there's got to be thousands. Take a guess on thousands, but how many thousands? How about 10? Oh, my gosh. Ding, ding, ding. You get the prize, girlfriend. Oh, good. The city to me. You get the, star you get the Starbucks gift card. <laughs> Yay. Is that really 10,000? Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's quite a bit, huh? I know that. I've been counting every time I see one. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> cool. uh, anyway, so yeah, 10,000 species. And most of them, most of them are found in North and South America, believe it or not. Huh. I mean, they, you know, they like the dry climates. Right. And the cold climates, of course, too. Okay. All right. Um, and you know, uh, most succulents, and that's why I love them so much because they're easy to uh, grow. I cannot grow a succulent for nothing. I can't. I cannot grow a succulent for anything. But you know what? I, I will say this as you're saying that is I've actually killed cactuses before. Me too. I overwatered them. Yep. But this is a little tidbit on my personal note. I used to be, I had a job for oh, you know, about a year or so working at Walmart in the plant department. Oh, well, yeah. It wasn't the Walmart. I was a separate vendor. But I used to go in there, and I managed the, it was called a, a plant merchandiser for Walmart Garden Center. Yeah, I remember you telling me so, that. Yeah, and so I go in there and work with plants all day long. And, and I learned it a bit. I mean, I've always been a plant person, but um, I, le I learned a few things too about plants. Cool. I'm a little bit darker. Where are we going at it? Yeah, so that was pretty cool. This one over here looks like a big pickle. So far, <laughs> good. So to get the stuff on it, just start getting the little little things on it. Get some little highlights going on here. Uh, yeah, so that's sucking it. Now, what do you? And this isn't been on my list. It's just a question. What is? Do you think is the most pop, most well known of a now? We know cactus or succulents, but besides a cactus, what do you think is the most well known? Um, Name succulent. Jade plant. Jades, yeah, actually, jades are pretty popular. I didn't think about jade. And I'm what about the about Christmas power. cactus? The Christmas cactus, yeah, you got those right too. Yeah. What else? I'm thinking of. I'm thinking of aloe. Oh, an aloe, yeah. I, I've got all of them, so. Yeah, I like aloe, and I got aloe in our yard. We, you know, I've used it medicinally. Matter of fact, uh, that's one of the things on the backs, but. I've actually used it to, um, like I take, I drink the, uh, the aloe juice. Oh, you do? For digestion. I had, yeah, they have it at Walmart, the big get, big gallon guys. And, oh, wow. Uh, I buy a gallon of that, and I usually drink it every morning. It's really good for digestion and all that good stuff. All right, so maybe I spent too much on cactus, but I got them done. All right, so now <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and work on my love to go in the water and swim and as a lifeguard, swim team, all that happy stuff. So, you know, I, I'm a little bit all over the board. I mean, they call it mixed bag of nuts. <laughs> uh. So, 
All right, see, I think I'll go ahead and work on my, you know, I'm gonna do the bottom part here, get my little table base down. I'm just gonna do blank, make like, like a gray tone on that one. Then once I get done, I'm going to add a, a kind of a fun little stencil to my pot to add a, just a little something on the pot itself. That'll be fun. This, I'm just, like I said, I'm just, I'm just makes a little bit of white and black together to get a gray. Give me like a little, a base. For your table? Yeah, my little table base there. Yeah, I just use a uh, uh, deco art. Yeah. Gray. Well, you know, the original painting that we're looking at doesn't even, on the black one, it doesn't even show a pot. So like I said, I, I created a, a little bit of a pot of my own. Yeah. I got like pot. Thank <laughs> <laughs> you for talking about that last week too, didn't you? Yeah. Because <laughs> we were talking about pots. Okay. I need to get a little bit more paint on my brush. Okay. Come on. There we go. Oh, let me see. More facts about. I got a line. I got a little bit of a line here. There we go. I'll fill all that in in a minute. That's I get my. So I can get started working. You see on this um, on this base here, I'm just going back and forth. To kind of and you do like a, a long stroke motion back and forth because it's like I said, it will be like a linear table kind of effect. Okay, that's about all I'm gonna do on that. Maybe I'll throw a little bit of back streak in there. Um, so let me see. Next subject about do you um just change the subject real quick. Do you have any plants at home? Oh golly, yes, absolutely. Ever, like I said, ever since I had that uh that job yeah with Walmart, I started getting into plants and I, I got plants all over the place yeah i got a few inside I, most of them are outside i had to change my uh topmos plant the other day it's a really long guy it's probably about four feet long it's a what yeah. it's it's called a uh, pothos it's uh oh yeah i know what you're talking about i don't want to make you see them it's kind of hard to explain yeah i know what you're yeah you know what I'm talking about? yeah i just didn't understand yeah, what you said so anyway i've had mine on a, a really cool uh what do you call it a um shepherd's hook outside oh yeah another plant for about a year, but it's been so dry and hot this summer and it's just getting fried. So I had to move it. I had to take it out of the sun because it's getting too much sun. It was trying to too yellow. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm going to kill this place with my babies. Uh -huh. I, I love my babies. Oh my gosh. I got, I, I, yeah. Me too. It breaks my heart when one of them dies. But, but I'm, but I'll tell you what, sometimes I do forget to water. You know, like I'll get caught up and stuff. I'm like, oh crap, I haven't watered. In this <laughs> I don't mean, because I didn't take care of them. All right, so hot. See how fast this is going. This is going pretty fast. I'll start getting the details here in a minute. But um, what am I going to do now? I'm going to do my succulents. And like I said, originally this one had called for two uh, pink little guys succulents. But I'm going to do a blue one down here, and then that darker uh, pink. What the heck is that color? I got a really cool raspberry. Alizarian crimson. It's oh, really okay. Cool, like dark, like. Um, Berry color. Uh -huh. All right, let me go ahead and get this guy painted in. Ooh, it's starting to pop. I just have a thing for turquoise, which we know. We talked about that last week, too. I'm just adding I'm some. Switch to my smaller brush just because I have a little more control over that. I like to use angle brushes, too, guys. You can see this one. I think this is a. No, this is a five eighths little guy here and it's an angle brush and I do like to use angle brushes sometimes they just feel right when I'm working on certain things because you can get a little angle on it. hello they call them angle brushes exactly I'll, I just use whatever is fitting for the project you know if I need a, a round angle flat just whatever I need I just grab it right so I use all the brushes all right so let's see what we got here Oh, that's looking good, Danita. I just looked up the song yours. Oh, thank you. I like your I like your colors that you your cactus colors. Oh, thanks. That's the um Hauser Green. All right, for those of you guys that are just joining us or might be joining us a little bit later, uh, once again, my name is Kim Hostetter. Wait up a minute. And I'm crafting with Kim. 
And then I'm co-penning with my friend Anita, who's on the other side there. That's not going to show her face. But anyway, I'm back with Kim, and she's Anita Atkinson on Buttercup Creation. So you can find us, and please give us some love. And um, show us some uh, some subscribes if you're on YouTube, some shares, notifications, all that good stuff. Make sure you and give us a thumbs up now. Comments. Anybody ever wants to come on and paint with us? Or even if you're not painting, but you just want to get on live and hang out with us and chat a little bit, we would love that. It's, it's very interactive and it's fun to have people on here. As yes. long as you're being nice. Exactly. Comment, Please give us some of those thumbs ups. <laughs> Right. Yeah, don't forget those thumbs up now. Yeah, actually, thumbs up, likes, all that good stuff. How are we looking here? It's just the two of us right now. All right. I guess, I don't know why I'm doing this. I just do want to paint the damn thing, and I know I'm going to be going over it anyway. All right. Do you like the gold in this? Oh, yeah, that's pretty against the black. Ooh, that stands out nice. Good idea. Yeah, I did it last night on the white one too. And no, I did a green background and the black and gold splotches on that. Oh, it was so pretty. Yeah, like I said, this original one does have the gold on it. I'm not sure if I'm, I might just leave mine black though. Because um, I just kind of like had that real stark black kind of look to this. So that's kind of what I yeah. kind of felt like doing. All right, so I got the blue one. Let me go ahead and do my other one. So I'll just end up filling it all in anyway. Okay, let's see. I've got my pretty little, like I said, a Lazarian crimson. It's a cool color. Ooh, this is going to pop really nice. Go. Look at that. That is gorgeous. Gorgeous. Isn't that pretty? Yes. You see that color? Uh huh. So let's see, what was another fact here? Okay, we talked about the species. Um, I mean, species in the world of succulents. Um, also, the largest succulent in the world, though, believe it or not, is in Africa, which I guess it kind of makes sense since it's real dry and hot over there for most parts. Um, by the way, not all Africa is hot. I mean, some of it does get winters, believe it or not. Um, we just hear about all the desert areas for the most part. Okay, now, the largest one in Africa, though, and this is really cool. You guys, you might want to Google this. It's this humongo-looking tree. Well, actually, they call it a tree. It's called the uh, ba Baobab tree. Baobab tree in Africa, South, South Africa. It just says Africa. So oh, Kim. So, yeah. Can you hear this, me? I think this is going to be one of my favorite paintings. Kim. What's up, girl? Look, I was going to show you my new brushes that I received today. Can you see these? Oh, sparkles, glitter. Where'd you get those? From Jamie Connor. I love those. Yeah. Um, it's She's got a she was um like trying to get me to get in her club so i got these brushes um so i can show them to others let me pop I them see. out of the package so you got like a little perk for promoting is that it um not yet um but i can do that i can get it like an affiliate but it, you see the zebra it's rainbow zebra <gasps> those are so darn cool and then she has a she has a brush of the month club and i think it's like Fourteen dollars a month, and every month, month she sends you a new brush, all depending on the the month, whatever it's going to be, and if it's going to be a holiday. Can you see this one? You see what this is for? That's cool. That's flowers. It's Fourth of July colors. Oh, it is. Okay, yeah, I can see. I've got such a. I've got you down. I don't have you up on the full screen. Oh, okay. I don't. You neither. I can't see too much detail, but yeah, that's cool. Yeah. so cool and every month it's not just a different brush it's a different size and everything you see okay oh okay you said it's 14 dollars a month yeah uh, is that her membership price yeah that's her i'm like every month she'll send you a brush of the month if, you, if you're in her club 
and um, you don't know what what it's going to look like until she gives a sneak right. peek. So it's like um, it's going to be like if it's it's October, it'll be like a Halloween one, you know, colors. Gotcha. It'll kind of relate to the holidays. Yeah, it'll mean. relate to the holidays exactly. All right. All right. So now I'm going to go ahead. I'm letting all that dry up. I'm going to go ahead and work on my little. Uh, my little succulents down below. I guess these would kind of be your jades. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. They're just like my jades. I got a whole plant of like several of them in there. A whole pot of plants, the jade. Yeah, I've got, I should take a picture of it and show it to you. You know, I was thinking about bringing in a couple of my succulent plants in here and kind of like showing them for uh -huh. people who aren't familiar with, you know, real succulents. Yeah. Um, but I, I didn't think about it until after. Till just now. Till just now. <laughs> I, have, I bought at Lowe's last year. I usually don't splurge like this, but it was so neat. You know how they put all the different plants together and make a big composition? Out of oh, them? yeah. It was a big pot with all these different plants. Oh, those there. are beautiful. I love those. They were, it was absolutely gorgeous. I ended up having it all together, but they grew up so fast that I couldn't keep them. I had to take one of them because one of them, um, I don't even know the name of it, honestly. It's like this little spindly looking one. Uh -huh. It started growing and overtaking everything else in the pot. Oh, wow. So you separated so them out or not? I ended up um, taking it out and making, putting it in a separate pot. And that thing is just, I mean, both of them, they're all real pretty. So oh. I've got it sitting on an old chair that I found, an old rusted chair. And you got it where? It's outside. And it's no. Outdoors. Where did you get it at? Oh, with Lowe's. They usually oh. have them here in the garden center. They usually have them in the summertime. Yeah, I, I've seen those. I just didn't know if you said Walmart or Lowe's or Home Depot yeah, or where. Uh -huh. And I think it was about 20 bucks for the whole thing, which wasn't terrible. But I, I'm such a cheap stick sometimes. I'm like, oh, I don't want to But I just now I'm thinking this because it looks really good. Yeah, so much. So well. That's good. That's good. Which background? I thought you did. Well, I did on my bottom base, but then my gray. Oh, okay. I see. <laughs> Got a little in between. Need to kind of mix a little gray together again. Got some white and some gray here. A little bit more white, Donna. Now, like I said, this was coming together relatively quick. I think it's so cute. Yeah, I think mine's a smaller. Um, very, very easy canvas. paint. If anybody out there wants to paint this one, wants to do a class zoom or in person yeah i'd love to do that this would be great this is a little class today. and you can like i said you can make it your own that's right so, so since i didn't think about going over this which i should have a little forethought on that i should have just background painted all this in between here, so I'm having to go through it, but I just have to go over it with my green again. Fill it in the end. I could definitely fill it in with all the green, but make a little, a little bit of separation. And of course, my colors aren't dry, so it's turning into green. Yeah, I got you. <laughs> what I get for Russian. But that's all right, too. Some of this to me is sort of like impressionistic painting. Yeah. You know, because it's just, you know, it's very whimsical, and man, you're just kind of like. I call it abstract. I'm like, some of mine is abstract because I just mix colors, blotches here and there, you know? Yeah, exactly. Make colors on the screen, on the canvas, on the background, and all that. Right. All right. Now I can go back over these. Let's see. Yeah, Jade's get super big, too. Yeah, I got a pot that had like eight or ten of them in it, and they're just growing up. I know, so it gets you really well. And, of course, the trick with them is not to give them too much water. Oh, no, I hardly ever water them. They need a little bit. You know, and I found the best way to, I mean, outside, you don't really have to mess with them. I don't really hardly do anything with my ones outside. But um, the, the inside ones, if you keep them inside, I found the best way so you don't overwater them is get you a little spray bottle. And just spritz some here and there, maybe like once a week, a little spritz spray. And I, I spray the um, soil, like down in the soil, but I also spray the, the plants themselves. You know, right. Like the, just the top of them. Because the thing about it is, is 
Succulents don't like a lot of water on their roots. It's That's because succulents are already filled with water. That's why they're full. Okay. That's why they're and fat. They, get their, they suck up the water from the air. You know, if you're outside, even in the desert, believe it or not, you do have some um, moisture, especially more at night. And so, therefore, like I said, it's um, uh, you don't want to overwater because you actually can't kill them. And that's why I kill water too darn much. Yeah. And like I said, that's the trick is just get a little squirt bottle and just squirt them here and there. A little black dot there. A little black look at me. Okay. All right. So that's one. Let me go ahead and get this guy up here. I'll go ahead and highlight those a little bit after I'm done. What am I going to do? I got this guy here too. You know what? Before I do that, I need to work on my black background because I know. Yeah, my grandmother used to. She had like I don't know. She her 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 whole porch was full of um, plants, and so I never was all that good with plants. But then after she passed away, then I started doing my own. You know. Gotcha. And even if they pass away, the plants, then I always go back and, you know, try to refill them again every year. Yeah. Try to keep my plants. I did not do this year. Like I said, it's been so stinking dry. Uh, we have some out by our mailbox and we did a nice little display last year, the plants and pinkas and things like that. But um, I don't know. I just, I didn't do it this year. I don't, they just kind of like, they, I got to where I didn't want to manage them. Yeah, I got them. <laughs> The ones that survived were basically the um, Aztec grass. Yeah. It was kind of hard to kill. And so basically, um, whatever lived stayed. And then Aztec grass grew. So kept it and just kind of pulled all the weeds out and left it be. Okay. But yeah, I didn't really buy any plants this year. I did, like I said, I bought a lot last year. But I'd have to be watering everything. As it stands, I. You know, I looked out my window and I'm like, oh my gosh, my outside plants are like, I need to be watering these things. They're dying because we're not getting any rain. Yeah, that would help you know, if you watered them. Like, well, get the hose out and start watering them. Uh, let's see, what were, what's the next on our list? Okay, so like I talked about before, as far as uh, I mentioned, like what was the most popular people thought, you said Jade. Of course, I didn't think of Jay, but to me, like I said, aloe comes to mind. Yeah, because aloe is one thing. I use aloe, and a lot of people use aloe for their like hair, said, for sunburns, and skin issues. And their um, hair. And for what? Their hair. Oh, yeah. It's in a lot of beauty products. Absolutely. It's great for the skin. And um, what else? Skin, like I said, in digestion, like I said, it's good to drink. I know it. Fresh aloe, and I've actually is sometimes. You ever cut open like an aloe plant? Yeah, it's real watery, yeah, wetty. Real slimy inside. Yeah, real slimy. Do you yeah. know that um the Hispanic people they um cook nopales? Yes. Nopales yes. is a cactus, and they just I cut those little good. um yeah, they I cut those it. little briars yes. off of it, and they eat it. They cut it, uh, fry it right up, and I don't like yeah. it because the slimy. Mom, I mean, I've actually taken it the little strips out of the can and eaten them, but his mom. Made it and she cooked it like that, and it was really good. Yeah, I'm not a big fan <laughs> myself, but I tried to make it before and it just it didn't taste good. I thought I could make it taste good, but no, I didn't. Yeah, didn't like it. No, yeah, no, no, no. And then let's see. Um, now another one that a lot of people are familiar with is the agave plants. Oh, I've never had that one. Okay, now we'll think about agave. What do you know? Can, when you hear the word agave, what do you think? A drink. Drink? Yeah. Yeah, tequila. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> tequila. They also um, use it for um, like agave nectar. It's like a sweet syrup stuff. Oh, it's a get. syrup. Maybe I was thinking about the syrup, not the um, drink. Oh, well, I was talking about the drink, the alcoholic drink, but. Um, well, you know, agave, yes, that actually is a, um, an alcohol, yeah, that's how they make tequila, like I said, but, um, it's also used, like I said, there, oh, let me see, what else about it? Fibers, they take the fibers and they can actually make rope and rugs and clothing out of it. Oh, really? I didn't know that. I didn't know that. I mean, I know bamboo is real popular with that right now. Yeah. But I guess agave is too. 
Wow, I did so, not know that. Oh, that's pretty cool. I did not know that. That's a new fact. So you learn something new every day? Yep. All right. Uh, okay. Let me see. Let's see if this one pretty good. All right. So I got those. I drew I both of these cactuses, so they're, they're not uh, very okay, good so here. Natural. Okay. Also, you know, we talked about aloe being good for the skin. Mm -hmm. Well, agave is actually good. Who we got here? Oh, okay. Robert's actually piping in. He says it's hard to do with the cactus. I'm just now looking up seeing my comments. He says it eats alone. It says different types of dishes with the um, no palace. Yeah, with the uh, agave. Oh no, it's the is it the agave that we're talking? That's not the one you eat. No palace. No palace. Yes, did. Oh, he says he loves them. I thought he didn't like them. Oh. I don't know. For some reason, I thought he didn't like them. He says he does like them. Oh. Right, well, my bad. Right. My bad for saying something that that wasn't right, huh? We're not. Get the facts right, Kim. Put your artifacts down, right? Get your Robert facts down. <laughs> okay, so what is the next thing? Oh, what I was talking about, you know, we talked about um, aloe being good for the skin. And um, it's also, of course, it's a natural sun, it has natural sun protection because that real thick waxy coating on the outside is what protects the leaves. And that's why it can handle all the sun. Oh, yeah. Kind of yeah, because my um, I just say it's got a thick skin. yeah, exactly. Because my Christmas cactus, it does not do well at all outside. No, it, it doesn't, lie. it burns mine's actually outside, but mine's underneath my uh, I have like a little deck. Yeah, my um, Christmas like cactus, deck. I've got it out there. yeah, my no, cactus, something really cool. Like, <laughs> I'm sorry to interrupt, go ahead. It's okay, my Christmas cactus burns every time I try to put it outside for some sun. Oh, no, no, you got to keep it under cover. Yeah, it doesn't like really direct sun. No. Well, even I had it on my porch and it just burned up because of the heat last year. Right. They also said, too, maybe that's why they call it Christmas cactus because it's better for cooler weather. Uh, they also said, too, that, um, uh, but, but what was I going to say? That to make them, oh, Kim, I look at me, I just grab white. This is where I can show you my little trick. That's what I get for talking and not paying attention. To Our colors. baby wipe trick. Get my little uh, handy dandy, uh, handy white there, baby white, whatever, and uh, clean that up. I was trying to go with black. I'm gonna have to wait till that's dry. All right, now let me put my little yellers on here. Get my little yellow guys. You yellow? Uh, yeah. Anyway, what were we talking about? Oh, the Christmas cactuses. Yeah. yeah they, they don't like a lot of, of heat, and they don't like a lot of sun. Ah. Oh. The heat they can see and they sound like a lot of sun. Yeah. Well, I and to make them blue, but there's something about like they have to be in total darkness. Um. Yeah, I, I, for them to bloom. No, I, that's I'm not. Having a hard time making my bloom. Yeah, that's not true. You you just have to have them inside the house where they're not getting heat. Uh, mine blooms every year at, at November. Um, oh, my, see, so it, it, they don't, it's getting too much heat. That's why it doesn't want to bloom. Yeah, because you have to have them inside usually. Mine always blooms inside, not outside. Okay, well, now check this out. As you're saying that, I got some interesting, something interesting to tell you. Well, tell me. <laughs> Come on, let me hear it. Okay. <laughs> Do you know what a Kokidama plant is? No. Like a no okay. idea. You need to look that up. It's kind of cool. Okay. I bought one from a lady last year, and basically it's a Japanese way of creating these um this says i'd rather eat the cactus oh he said he'd rather eat the cactus than draw robert said that i'd rather eat the cactus than draw one. Oh, then draw one i thought he was a good artist when is he going to get on live with you what's that when is he going to get on the live with you i hold my breath on that one oh you're not okay well <laughs> don't then i tried I gotta go. <laughs> don't be a scaredy cat robert he figures it out. He always decides he wants to do it. Yeah. But, um, okay, so let me see. What else I going to say? Oh, my daughter. She, uh, a Kokidama is basically a plant. It's like a ball. It has no, um, it hangs generally or you can put them in a pot. Uh -huh. But they don't have a, a pot that sits in. It's like a round ball of, um, it's like a round, I'm showing the camera, like a round ball like this. I've got one that's really good in my house. I made a couple. That oh, I okay. Made. 
And they wrap it around twine, with twine around it. And the plant just basically houses in that, and it grows. Anyway, my daughter got on a big kit after I made one, and she just made a whole bunch of them. And it's, they're doing great, but she has a Christmas cactus in one, and she has it hanging upside down. Oh, and wow. Believe it or not, that thing is growing like wild and blooming like crazy. And she had it on her back porch. And I'm like, huh, that's wow. really interesting. That so is. there goes the idea of Christmas cactus not blooming. I, mean, <laughs> I don't know what it is because it's out in the sun. Yeah. But it, I mean, it's super pretty, you know, and it looks great in the Kokidama. Like I said, the Kokidamas are really kind of fun. I, I made a few of them, but. To me, I guess she figured out a method that was a lot easier than the method. Though. You have to tell me how to spell that later. And I'll look it up. I probably should have painted my cactus before I did one of those guys at the end here, but hey, well. Let's see what we got here. Let's see. We still got three people. I guess it's me, you, and Robert. Jamie did pop on, but she was driving, so I guess can't do that. All right. Um, there we go. What else am I going to throw in here? I need to do my little pricklies. So I think I'm going to kind of follow Heidi's on the doing the lines. I like that. I do, too. That was so pretty when I did it last night. What are these, the ones that was on that picture you sent me? Was it um, Dots? What's that, darling? The, the uh, picture? No, they, she has like the little check marks, like the little spikies. On the picture you sent me? Yeah. Don't you have it? It's on the phone that I'm taking. You can look at mine. See, you can look real close. Uh, oh, it's okay. Like, yeah. Little, yeah, I see it. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm going to go ahead and do my lines on this one. This is one that, I mean, I might even hang this up in my house. I like this. One. You do? If I can find wall space. I, girl, I got so much art on the walls. <laughs> what size is that one? This is a 16 by 20. I don't know what size mine was. I, I thought it was a, a 20. What did I say? A 16 by something? But I don't think it's that big. No, it's not that big, obviously. It might be a 12 by 16. I've gotten where I like to paint this size. It's a big guy. And what nights do you paint, Kim, live on your channel? Generally, I do Thursdays. I try to do something every Thursday, whether it be a painting or a craft or something. And like I said, if you and I want to make this like an every other, I think every other week would be good. You know, that way we're not burning ourselves out. And I know that sometimes you like to have your be around your hubby on his day off. Yeah, well, um, I was thinking about starting to do um, Saturdays, like every Saturday, make sure I do something because I need to get my channel, my YouTube channel going really good. Okay, I've right. been working on it for a couple of years now, but not really been serious at it. Gotcha. All right. Well, I'm trying to do, like I said, tomorrow, I was, I had tried to put it out there, but didn't get any interest at doing that little sunflower uh, close pin rate. Yeah. Know about that. Yeah, I saw that. I had a lot of people that were interested. Nobody really signed up, so that was going to be Friday night. But since that's not happening, I might go ahead and I'll probably do something on the Friday or Saturday. I'm not sure. What yeah. time is yours on Saturday? Where are you going to do I'm not. Well, since I'm doing this this week, I may not if I can get this oh, upload okay. and everything. But I, yes. those are all over YouTube, those um, clothes pin things. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I initially found it on. Um, Pinterest. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. There's so many tutorials on those on YouTube. That may have been why you didn't get the interest you were wanting. Maybe. Yeah. Do my research. Do my research. But anyway, that's, that's all right. I'll yeah. just keep painting until somebody actually wants to do something. Yeah. You just never know. Did you find anything about the mural thing? Um, I don't know, but I, oh, I'm glad you brought that up. I still got some more artifacts to talk about. But <laughs> okay. But, um, yeah, this is kind of interesting. I, I just was, you know, getting my thinking things from Indeed. You know, I just kept on there for years and looking at stuff. And um, 
indeed came across, which in my area, you know, we don't have a lot of artsy kind of stuff going on here that's like this. But oh, I thought you said you had lots. Well, not, I mean, the land is artsy, but this kind of, this kind of thing I'm going to talk about. Where oh, we, oh. Uh, there's a, uh, a company that's opened up a skating rink, a new skating rink in a uh, town that's close to me. It's about an hour away. Well, 30 minutes away. Really. And um, they are, it's called Astro Skate. And they put it out on Indeed where they're looking for a muralist. Ah. Paint the entire skating rink. I'm like, Ooh, that wow, be, that would be a lot of work. It would be a lot of work, but I'm up for the challenge. And I'm out, I've done, you know, fairly large murals before. Um, I've done stage size murals. And, you know, the thing about it is the images are, number one, they're like um, outer space kind of things. You know, oh, so, cartoonish. yeah, that'd be fun. Which is kind of cute. I mean, it's simple enough. You know, the characters are simple enough. Yeah. Um, except they're black. They're a neon white light paints. Oh, because so the the lights will make them pop. Yeah, they keep it like glow, you know, like glow paints. And then that made me start thinking about, you know what? I remember somebody saying about glow parties and glow paints and how they're really popular. So I thought, you know, I started looking online and I watched a couple of tutorials on Facebook, I mean, on YouTube last night. I'm like, you know what? This is really pretty simple. I thought it was going to be something to do and there's really not. Yeah. It's just, um, it's just, um, you basically get your image, you do a base of white, generally, you kind of paint it all white, like an outline, mm -hmm. you know, a base coat white, and then you start painting it in with whatever colors. I even saw one girl on, uh, on the PPHQ who painted it regular, like acrylic colors, and went back over with the, um, so you can kind of see it in the regular light. Uh -huh. And then she went back over it with the neon colors. Oh, wow. Well, that's really actually not that big of a deal. And I'm thinking, I can do that. So I'm going to play around with that soon. I'm going to buy some little cheaping neons. You know, they have them at Walmart. They have other different brands, too, that you can buy a little bit better. But I'm just going to buy some cheapies to start with and see how it goes. And I thought that would be kind of a real cool novel idea. Yeah, that does sound cool. Mm -hmm. So... So, yeah, I, I like the, I, the, the glow painting idea. And I thought, well, if I do these, I mean, like I said, I got that little market downtown. Uh -huh. I could uh, take those down there with a the black light because it's at nighttime. Oh, so it is? It's, it's at night? And let people see what they look like. Say, oh, that'd be cool. <laughs> you, know, you want to take a class? So, <laughs> let's see. Anything to try to get out there, right? Yeah. Um, Whatever you like doing. All right. All right. How's that looking from afar? I guess that looks all right. This is... Okay. That's two little dots on that one. Okay. And the next one, that's got dots. But I'm going to use the little... Yellow. She's got, I think, a little yellow and white. Mix that down. Put my little guys in there like that. Oh, yours is looking cute. Are you doing a white pot again like you did last night? Yeah, I'm going to do the same one. I'm just waiting for that to dry. <laughs> I'm going to turn on my um, dryer for a second. You want to, you might want to mute me.
blow dry. I guess I could chat a few minutes. Still there, Danita? Yes, yeah. ma'am. You good? Yeah. Okay. Um, let me get through some of the rest of my artifacts here, or artifacts. <laughs> okay. Spines or thorns are for protection from the critters, from your animals. Well, that kind of makes sense. Yeah, right? to protect them, yeah. Might not think about that, but that's actual purpose is for protection. Have you ever got, you ever got bit by one of the things? Yes, and they hurt. Oh, goodness gracious, they do. Goodness gracious, they, they, they hurt. Definitely. I'm trying to think if I was a kid, I had an incident with those. It seems like there is something in my memory. Like I've before. had an incident since, I, since I've been an adult, honey. <laughs> oh, yeah. I try to change plants out from one to another, and oh my goodness, they hurt. Well, somebody like a cousin or something when I was a kid, somebody like, fell into one. Like, you know. Oh, wow. It was in a movie. I know it was real. Like, I, I, somebody that I, because I had a lot of rambunctious cousins. We lived in Alabama and we we're all these other things. And I remember somebody got a hold of a, maybe it wasn't a cactus, maybe it was like a thorn bush or something, but they, they got hit with that thorn. Okay. Let's see. My white lines are too big, I think. Let's see. see how you do that? You can just take them down. That's right. Make them a little smaller. Give them a little bit of shape in there at the same time. I watched a gal earlier tonight. I got involved with a PPHQ group that is doing like this event for the next few days to raise a little money for Alzheimer's. Mm -hmm. Did you see that? No, I didn't. And they were doing it's like a compilation of those different ladies that are painting, and like every night 